I officially saw my favorite bird of the California trip, the pintailed wida. It was just, it was evading us for a long time and we looked it up and we thought, nah, that tells way too long, but then it finally perched for us on the tree and it's the pintailed wida. So absolutely amazing bird, beautiful, good times. But we're having an amazing day. I mean, that was the lifer pintailed uh, wida. I'm here with Roberto and my dad. And yeah, we're just getting a ton of birds. So let's go. All right, so I just wanted to interject into this video and talk a little bit more about where the pintailed wida is originally from. The pintailed wida is actually originally from sub-Saharan Africa. It's not native to the United States. However, it started to appear in Southern California in the 1990s. And this population began from escaped pets. It has taken off in San Diego, all the way down to Los Angeles. And the flocks are around 100 birds. Um, and those flocks sometimes form together on rare occasions as well. It's also found in a few other places like Florida, um, but in much lower numbers. So it's kind of cool to see a pintailed wida. It's not native to the United States. It's native to Africa. It's something called a provisional species, which means that it's not completely naturalized yet in the United States. It does count in official eBird uh, numbers, however, but it's not a native bird. Um, to the United States is something that's been introduced, much like the parrots that have been introduced to LA as well. So an amazing bird to see, beautiful colors, beautiful long tail. It was an absolute blessing to see such an amazing bird. I knew I was gonna see something when I didn't have the camera. Right here are two Egyptian geese. So I left the camera in the car. Can't get a good angle on them, but there's a blurry clip from an iPhone for you guys. Mm -hmm. Despite originally forgetting my camera back at the car, I decided to make the mile long trek back to the car, grab the camera, and then walk back to the area that we found the Egyptian geese. Luckily, we found them still laying in the same spot, so I was able to get these beautiful shots for you guys. All right, so the Egyptian geese that are behind me, they're actually originally from Africa, but they've been introduced to parts of the United States as well as Europe. So another provisional species, uh, not fully naturalized yet in the US. Here they are right here. Um, they're usually in pairs and you can find them in Southern California where I'm at right now. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see a bird that's not normally found here. Um, California seems to have a lot of those for whatever reason, but yeah, pretty dope stuff. All right, y'all, it was super cool to see the Egyptian goose, um, a species that's native to Africa. I guess a lot of them were put in zoos, a lot of them escaped, and they started breeding in the wild. So really cool species to see. I hope you enjoyed these non-native species. That's a motorcycle. I hope, oh my goodness, here it goes again. I hope you enjoyed these non-native species to the United States. All these cars are gonna be loud right now, I guess. I hope you enjoyed all these non-native species to the United States. Hope you thought found them cool and interesting. I just wanted to shout out the Discord. Join our community on Discord. Um, we're a chill community. We just have a few rules, you know, the basic stuff. Don't bully, harass, etc. Um, but we hang out, we share, we share bird photography, we help with bird identifications. Uh, we just have discussions on birds so check us out on discord come join us in the community i'm very active in the discord um make sure you like and subscribe thank you for joining me on this journey i hope to see you all next time on bright-eyed birding